Securing 60% of the electorate in the New Forest West constituency, Des Swain finds himself back in Westminster in a truly safe seat. Every party saw their percentage increase, except for the Lib Dems, who lost a staggering 16% since 2010. Labour's only seat in Hampshire saw an unusual trend bucking, with Alan White increasing his majority by almost 3% from 2010. The other party's growth came at the expense of the Lib Dems, just like so many other constituencies all over the country. Rowena Davis lost a key battleground seat on May the 7th. She failed to stop 2010 nearly man Royston Smith, who managed to persuade more of the lost Lib Dem voters to support the Conservatives. Before the election, Rowena's Labour's career was tipped for extraordinary heights, but now she will have to regroup and replan. We need 60 Eastleys, Nick Clegg shouted at a Lib Dem rally in the constituency shortly before May the 7th. Unfortunately for him, that's exactly what happened. Another Lib Dem lost to the Conservatives, this time by almost 10,000 votes. UKIP underperformed here after their hard-fought campaign in the 2013 by-election. UKIP and the Conservatives wrapped up over 70% of the votes in Fareham. The Purple Party mirrored their success in the North with a number of second places across the South. Although this success does not translate to seats in the House of Commons, they are now much more than the protest party they were considered as for so many years before 2015. The sea of blue in the south didn't stop when it reached the shores of Gosport. Caroline Dineage increased her overall majority, receiving three times more support than UKIP, who were the closest on the night. Maria Miller made it three elections in a row on May the 7th, with a majority of over 10,000 in this safe Conservative seat. Two Green Party candidates who applied to job share the role of MP were rejected from standing for the party in the 2015 general election.